what's up what's up welcome back or welcome to my channel my name is jill aka bambi bambi go okay <laughs> okay and you're welcome to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing basically like a story time and like five tips for ladies out there to know that you're the side chick okay yes i was once a side chick i was played a homie was played <laughs> okay we ladies need to stay walk out there like we need to be walk they're out there hunting for us i will look for you i will find you and they will take you away so don't be a victim watch this video to the end okay so let's dive right into this story so this guy let's give him a name pablo you know pablo is a kind of mischievous name you know like he's up to no good so pablo yeah we met over social media social media can be good and can be bad it's just always very risky i met this guy over snapchat and my friend was like he really likes you i'm like okay meet let's interact you know i just gotten out of my relationship and i thought that empty void i needed to be filled in like that space i needed someone to be there for me on that space that my ex-boyfriend left so i decided to see other people and this pablo was the person who i saw at that time so fast forward after a month and some weeks pablo was like we should meet mind you when we were talking we never met we just used to chat on phone so i was like okay cool let's meet so me and pablo met and when we met everything was so sweet you guys this guy he would do the most for me and everything i'm like okay hmm god is this you because i prayed i'm like god i just need a, an independent man you know i just need another clean fish and god sent me a well this well was the well that swallowed Jonah. Oh, na stomach fishy. Jonah zile budi filidezi no kudu. Jonah stomach fishy. Jonah gila idi. The well of destruction. I don't believe this well was sent from God because them, 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 sister was trapped. <laughs> so this is how I saw these five signs. So this Pablo guy, this is the first sign I saw, yeah? This Pablo guy was like, he's going to his brother's place. I was like, okay, he's going to his brother's place. That's so sweet and everything. And I was one of those people who used to sleep on call with Pablo, you know, sometimes would sleep on FaceTime call and everything. <laughs> I used to do that. Me? Me? I used to. <clears throat> anyway, so he's like, we can't talk on FaceTime call because he's going to be sleeping in the same room as his niece, his brother's daughter. Like, okay. I shouldn't call him. He will call me when he gets the chance. I'm like, okay. So before he reached, we were talking, talking. As soon as he reached where he was getting to, he's like, okay, I have to go now. I'll call you later. That's the way it was past some time the guy didn't call me i couldn't text i was scared i'm like okay i don't know because he said i shouldn't call him he'll call me so let me just leave it like that so i was done studying and i was like let me go take a shower so i went to shower and i came back and i found one missed call from pablo i'm like oh my god he was trying to call me why was i foolish to go shower you know as women so i now called him back i was like oh you're trying to call me this guy was whispering I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. My niece is sleeping. I'll call you back tomorrow. You could have just cut the call and tell me I'll call you back tomorrow or something like that. Before I could cut, I thank God for West African women accent. 
it's so prominent and loud this girl was like pablo now who they talk to at this time you the crazy if i slap you eh, bring the phone here i just cut the call and i'm like jim put your phone in flight mode because things are going to get wild if they call you back flight mode until the next morning like wow the next day when i turned on my phone i was like you know what i don't know what to do should i text him should i not text him and i was like let me just leave it until he leaves his brother's place when he left his brother's place he was talking told me oh and his lies were so sweet they were sweet when i tell you sweet <laughs> oh they were sweet he now spoke to me and showed me everything i'm like you see pablo i'm not a child there's no way someone who say something and everything is like no i was watching a series that something some, i was like what series was that that was in sync with your name at the same point like it didn't make sense it's like that scene happened exactly the same time you're calling me i, I was like i'm not stupid i'm like you see i don't want you in my life and i'm going to block you okay i don't want this nonsense and he agreed he's like okay that when he went to his brother's place he was sleeping with his ex-girlfriend then he's like because he's brother-in-law's wife wanted them to get back and everything so they were staying in the same house and everything like that and he admitted it i'm like okay so you guys are not getting back he's like no he refused to get back with a girl foolish me i believed we move on second side i saw so this guy was on social media and we had mutual friends on social media so there was this when they got back or whatever was happening they had this caption okay so let's give the ex-girlfriend or the girlfriend's name mary okay so they're like um mary pablo uh mary pablo with hearts mary pablo with their country flags mary pablo i'm like what's happening here so i was like if i screenshot this stuff the people will be notified that i screenshot it so i was like i'm just going to send, to, send it to him directly and hear what he has to say so i sent it to him and the guy was there saying no she graduated the same exact day that i graduated so people were saying oh my gosh you guys are meant to be but i was telling people to take down those posts believable but it's a lie the third sign that i saw was um this one day he was trying to you know win me back and everything so I was like, okay, we should meet somewhere. So he's like, okay. Then I asked him, oh, let me use your phone for Snapchat and everything. He's like, okay, cool. So I'm very, I'm very actually smart. So I was being like, oh, I'm taking selfies and whatever. But yet I'm actually checking his chats. I saw he saved, how he saved me. Like I was a full stop, you people, a full stop. Point. <laughs> I was like, who's this person who he saved as a full stop? I pity them. I opened my name. Hello, darkness, my old friend. At least you would have even put a uh, my Zambian flag. What's up? Wow. So I was like, okay, I won't ask him about it. But I took my phone and took a picture because he left and I took a picture of that full stop. And I took pictures of his chat with his girlfriend, girlfriend or whoever she was. And later on, when I went home, I talked to him about it. I'm like, I'm a full stop in your phone. He's like, no, this was the time when I went to my brother's place. That, like, his lies were just piling up. Lie after lie after lie. I'm like, no, this is the third strike. So now I told him, see, Pablo, we are not actually going to get along. Like, this is not working. At this point, your lies are not even making sense. I don't want to see you anymore. And what's done is done. I blocked him on Snapchat because that's where we used to communicate a lot. So then he came to WhatsApp and he's like, he's, you blocked me on Snapchat. I'm like, yes, I don't think anything is going to happen. He's like, no, please, tomorrow I want us to go and I want us to meet my brother because I want you to see that I'm serious with what we have going on. I'm going to be like you. Impressive. 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 You know, I'm going to be this one foolish me i was like okay cool and blocked him on snapchat then he's like yeah 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 now we should go to my brother's place i'm like okay cool so that day i happened to be talking to my friend okay on call and when we went to his brother's place um he's like okay let's take a seat here 
and his sister-in-law was there. Brother and his sister-in-law were from the same country, so they spoke the same language as the guy. So this girl was shouting that, hey, how dare you bring a slut, like in their language, how dare you bring a slut into our house? Are you stupid? You have a girlfriend, a whole girlfriend who you want to engage? Da, 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 da. I was like, ah. so my friend was like, Jean, who's that talking? I'm like, ah, why? Is it, is it anything of your business? Like, why are you so involved? That was my friend talking in my airport. She's like, Jean, whoever's coming to the house, they are shouting at the person saying that you brought a slut into the house slut like yeah like she's really vexed whoever is, you're talking to is very upset that why would they bring such a person that she explained everything i'm like wow okay and i couldn't do anything my job was small the girl was huge the brother was huge i'm like okay so then i just told him i'm not feeling well i want to go home he's like what's wrong i'm like i'm like, i just want to go home he's like oh okay cool let, let's go so on my way there i was like what was your sister-in-law saying then he's like no she was saying how can you bring her just like this we're supposed to go out for dinner and everything like that so i told him i'm like do you know i understand your language he's like no haha <laughs> how can you understand i'm like this is what she was saying he was shocked and he tried to lie no how can she say that like she didn't even know you have told you i'm single no that's actually the last strike when i went home i blocked this guy on all social media you don't understand the guy kept on calling me and calling me i'm like i'm not picking up then i think a day after or something like that um he called me on another number and he tried to explain i'm like see i actually don't want anything to do with you because me being called a slut when i haven't done anything i didn't even know that you had a babe like i've just been seeing some signs and everything and i'm being called a slut for free this world can be cruel. I don't want anything to do with you anymore. Like, no way. He's like, no, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, okay, you know what? I just cut the line. So this one day I was having autopsy course. It's not really a serious course and whatever, you know. We're waiting for other students to come. Yeah, waiting for other students to come. So I was on Snapchat and everything like that. So I posted this one guy friend of mine in my class. And some person added me. So when someone adds me on Snapchat, I normally see how they added me. If it's quick add, I normally don't add i add those who from search or from mention so this girl added me from search like okay let me add so i didn't know it was mary so okay then she's like what have i done she's like stay away from my man you must be foolish da, da, da. she was typing so many things Chelsea's which man are you talking about by this time me and this guy haven't had seen each other for like two or three weeks so i'm like i'm not even talking to any guy who are they talking about so i thought it was the snap that i posted with my classmate so i took down the snap so i was like please if you don't mind send me a picture of your man so i know who your man is because you can't come accusing me you don't know who i am what like how can you just do that then she sent me a whole flood of pictures, a whole flood. And these pictures had dates on them, everything, like when they were still small, okay, not small, but younger. And I'm like, oh my goodness, are you serious? So I'm like, you know what, sweetheart, I'll call you after my class. Like, I don't want this to be over phone of us talking, it will never end. I'll call you, she's like, you better. This girl. She thinks I'm scared or what? <laughs> when my class was done, I called the girl. I'm like, hi, how are you? Don't hi, how are you? And then, and then, ah! West Africans can talk. I was just talking. I'm like, chill, sis, chill, chill. She was talking, talking, talking. I'm like, okay, are you done? No, I'm not yet done. I'm like, okay. She was talking. Learn to relax and ask the person their side before she's like why, why why would i know your side you've been all around in his dm i left your man me and your man haven't been talking for two weeks plus now no you're talking to him yesterday on call i was like you know that he called me using a different number because he's like yeah that was my phone number i'm like yeah you know how he called me he was begging for me and i told him that i don't want anything to do with you and i'm blocking you no it's because you knew that i'm going to call him i'm like ah you know what 
deal with it yourself me i'm not seeing your man whatever you want to do i don't know if you want to come and beat me come let's fight because me i've told you the truth i'm not seeing your man any more okay you can have him and have a perfect life arguing with other girls about your man because your man is a whore and he will not stop with me he's going to go to other women but if you do want to listen to what i'm going to say continue opening your mouth and just know i've left your man go into his phone go into his snapchat she's like no he doesn't even have you on snapchat i'm like he has me on snapchat you just don't know what he saved me as go and type a full stop you know what the full stop is hey you think i'm stupid i said just listen go there type a full stop and check our chats because me i used to save our chats hey you think he can save you as a full stop i said sis before you open that your small mouth go and check the phone and come back and call me back if i go and i find out that uh, things are not well i'm going to be with you i'm like wow girls get that serious with men you want to bewitch me over your own boyfriend ho i said sis if you find nothing come and bewitch me even my generation to come if you feel like it's right okay she's like yeah whatever bye she then cut i'm like okay so then she came back to me she's like you know what you're adding a uh, fuel to the fire you used to chat with him and whatever whatever i'm like i chatted with him because i didn't know he had you the moment i found out he had you and things were serious i cut him off completely she's like okay you know what and this girl constantly kept on insulting me even if she found out that nothing was going on between like i didn't know anything she just kept on insulting me you know i know your man is hot he's handsome he's the perfect guy who wouldn't want a guy like that at this time but i left him okay and you should thank god that i'm a type of person who lets go easily because there are other girls out there who they don't care if you've got a girl or not as long as things are generating they are staying with your man sis it's gonna be a whole family the bigger the better <laughs> so yeah that's the unfortunate guy i let a, a very nice guy go but it was worth it you guys it was worth it and i was a side chick at least i learned one or two things to know that you're a side chick so yeah i hope other women out there have learned one or two things too don't be a side chick it's not nice it's not good it's not healthy <laughs> so anyway you guys that's the end of this video i hope you found it interesting and exciting don't come and laugh at me in the comments i'm not interested in your laughter we'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to like this video share comment and subscribe to my channel and turn on the little bell okay and we'll see you guys in my next video so bye bye